Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and Lesson 48 is about Atlas Shrugged, Ayn Rand's hero, Johnny Engineer Galt, and what he suggested be done to save the planet from financial and economic collapse. So, Lesson 48 and 49 are going to be about Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, and I'm Atlas Shrugged Not. So I finally got a chance to read Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrug, a novel where the technical elite escape to a retreat in the mountains with a gold-based currency, from which they will emerge after the world hits rock bottom under government mismanagement. Thus, the engineering elite, Atlas holding up the world, shrugs and lets the world fall because they're not getting a fair deal. So... Page 676, the Mulligan Bank, the Mulligan Mint. We accept nothing but objective values in their private retreat in the Rockies. So you got to have stuff to go there during the crash. So the weakness, well, that's basing the number of hours that can be traded, transacted, on the availability of, quote, objective values, unquote, stuff. So they believe in the gold standard of money, the stuff standard of money, but not the time standard. Manpower over time is not counted as enough objective value. Only gold and silver rock merit that distinction under Rand's philosophy. Page 694. Yes, Mulligan said, it was just my own private retreat out in the Rockies where the world's intellectual relief are going to go sit out the collapse. Page 695. Mulligan said, whatever wealth they could salvage, they converted into gold or machines, and they brought it here. So they got a nice little place to sit out the world like crash. And they got a gold bank. So the valley is almost self-supporting. The time is fast approaching when all of us will have to be called to live here because the world is falling apart so fast that it will soon be starving. But we will be able to support ourselves in this valley. So it's a Valhalla for the technological elite to escape to, but not for the poor. Quote, You've hidden, you're hidden in a hole in the wilderness, she said bleakly, and you're producing 200 barrels of oil when you could have flooded the world with it. What for? To feed the looters? No, to earn the fortune you deserve. But I'm richer now than I ever was in the world. What's wealth but the means of expanding one's life? There's two ways one can do it, either by producing more or by, by producing faster. And that's what I'm doing. I'm manufacturing time. And I'm manufacturing a time bank. What do you mean? Well, I'm producing everything I need. I'm working to improve my methods, and every hour I save is an hour added to my life. It usually takes me five hours to fill the tank. It now takes three. The two I saved are mine, are pricelessly mine, as if I've moved my grave two further hours away for every five I got. It's two hours released from one task to be invested in another, two more hours in which to work, to grow, to move forward. That's the savings account I'm hoarding. Of course, his bank only takes gold. It doesn't take time like my time bank would. <laughs> so because they're using gold, they could run out of gold tokens. Then what would they do? Same problem. So is there any sort of safety vault that could protect this account in the outside world? And the guy saying the world is crashing faster. And I'm saying, yeah, it's called a time bank account. Then you can save your, it keeps track of who owes who hours. What's hard? So not wasn't known when Ayn Rand wrote her novel in 1957. So, the world is crashing faster than we expected, said UX, and men are stopping and giving up. Your frozen trains, your gangs of raiders, the deserters, they're men who've never heard of us, and they're not part of our strike. They are acting on their own. It's the natural response of whatever rationality is still left in them. It's the same kind of protest that are, as ours. Well, you know, turning into robbers and looters when everything breaks down isn't really the same thing as ducking out to a retreat in the country, you know. So, engineer, uh, so, so here we go, striking. So, uh, John Rand, John, Rand, John Rand's engineer, Galt, the next one. So, her hero was John the engineer, Galt. We had no rules of any kind except one. When a man took our oath, it meant a single commitment to not work in his profession, to not give the world the benefit of his mind. We started with no time limit in view, said Galt. We did not know whether we'd live to see the liberation of the world. And I'm saying, by whom? 
the intellect if the intellectual elite are in hiding are the weakest supposed to take on the looters while Ayn Rand's engineers hide in their little self-sufficient valley Atlas hiding out until the sheep beat off the wolves then he goes or whether we'd have to leave our battle and our secret to the next generation and he calls hiding out a battle so we only knew that this was the only way we cared to live and our attempting political reform was out of the question leaving politics to the bad guys and running away until it crashes but now we think that we will see and soon the day of our victory and our return well i think john rand's engineer galt has got that wrong it'll be the day someone else's victory occurs the sheep overthrowing the wolves and they're coming out of hiding so when she whispered when the code of the looters has collapsed yes when the sheep have driven out the wolves so and with what to replace it with no alternatives to chains what do you want people to wear if they want to keep out of the rain so he said when our when the creed of self-immolation has run for once its undisguised course when they collapse as they must as men without mind when they have no pretense of authority left no remnant of law no trace of morality no hope no food and way to obtain it when they collapse and the road is clear then we'll come back to rebuild the world. Johnny Engineer Gold, Ayn Rand solution. So give up on saving it, let it break down, then come back and triumph to a destroyed world. Why not try to save it from the political looters? So Axon continues, in such a world, the best have to turn against society and have to become its deadliest enemies. Whoa, whoa. turn against society? Hmm, not the looters? 